Kelly Schaffner here and today it's a Stitch Fix day. So that makes for a wonderful day. I am so glad that you have stopped by to see what my stylist sent in my latest fix. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. Hello. It is so nice to have you here and I hope you'll subscribe and join me for a future video to my returning subscribers. Hi everyone. It is really, really nice to see you. I am so excited far more excited than normal to get into this fix and I'll tell you why. I changed everything up with my stitch fix. I went into my style profile and I tweaked things, I changed sizes because I've put on a little bit of weight and it was time to adjust my sizing to see if I can get some better fits. I also adjusted my price points. I set my price points very high. I don't think I went to the highest price point, but just below that because I have not been getting fixes with pieces that I'm real excited to purchase. And I do hope to purchase something, if not everything, out of every single box. I love my clothes, but the boxes I have been getting lately have just been kind of ordinary. I keep getting pieces that are very similar to things I own in my closet, and I just keep asking my stylist to find unique and eclectic pieces, and I think that's been hard to do on my limited price points. I've always had some of the lower price points in my style profile. So I am really curious to see what my stylist picked for me in this box. Now I may have a new stylist. If you watched my last video, which I will link above, my stylist is moving on, my old stylist is moving on to a new position in Stitch Fix and he did say that I may be getting a new stylist. So let's open up this box, see if I got a new stylist and see what I got. Okay, we got a really full box here and everything you need to know about Stitch Fix is always printed right on the box. But if you have any other questions, I've left everything that I know about Stitch Fix in the description box below, as well as my referral link. If you want to try Stitch Fix for the very first time, you can get a little credit towards your first purchase, and I get a little credit too. Thank you to everyone that has used my referral link. I really want to give a big shout out. You guys really support the Kelly Chaffner channel every single time you use my links. But I also have a news flash. I did not know this. Your credits expire with Stitch Fix. I didn't know that. I had some credits on my account that actually expired, and I don't know what the length of time is that you have to use those credits. So if you happen to know, I did search. I did a Google search trying to figure that out. I didn't figure it out. If you know, please leave it in the comments below because, um, yeah, I'm going to have to be more specific with my stylist um, when I have credit, I guess. So not spending credit on things that I don't want though. I have a new stylist, her name is Lori. So I'll look at that later. I do have a return mailer and the invoice and the style cards as well as a note from my brand new stylist who is Lori. And this is different. Hmm. This is like a garment bag, but there's a tag here. The tag says, this is Market and Spruce Felina Suede Peep Toe Booties in Navy. <gasps> okay, so they changed the bags. Oh, wow. Okay, these are the booties. What was that? Market and Spruce? Market and Spruce. These are really, really cute, and I own something very similar. I'll show you the ones I own. They do not have that big stacked heel. This is a block heel, but with the stacked wood. I have one that's a shorter heel, about two inches, but it's also this perforated navy. These are really pretty. Right up my alley, so I will try those on and see if I like them better than the ones I already own. Right here is the bundle. Ooh, polka dots. You see the polka dots? It looks like I have some denim. Okay, the first piece on the top Looks like this, let me see, this is the back. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is Collective Concepts. This is the Crystal Short Sleeve Surplice Top. Um, boy, that is, this is something that would have to be worn with 
a cami, a tank, or something like that underneath it. It does have the elastic band at the bottom. It does have an interesting kind of a cap flutter sleeve on it, but it is all the way open, and I don't know. This might look great. I don't, I'm not real drawn to this. because I don't like the shape of it. I don't like that shorter length top with the elastic band, but I will certainly try it on. It's a pretty color. This I like. This is beautiful. This is 41 Hawthorne. Ooh, this is pretty, and it feels really nice as well. This is 41 Hawthorne Carol Tulip Detail Blouse in white, size large. Look at this. Okay, very pretty. This is fully lined, which is so nice, so it's not going to be see-through, and I love the polka dots. It's just going to be fun for spring and summer. Oh, and it has a pocket on it. So I like this piece. Next up, we have something in white. It feels like a white cotton top. And okay, this is Bella Doll. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe this is one of their luxe pieces. This is El Camino button down top in white. And this is actually a brand that sold at Anthropology, And I don't know. Okay, so I have to see. This is a three-quarter length top. It is not a tab sleeve, which I do like, but I don't know. Let's see if it's a full-length sleeve. They did have it rolled up like that. This feels like a feels like 100% cotton. I'm going to check. I like the way the fabric feels. It's nice and heavy, and no, this is tensile lyocell, so that's, that's why the fabric feels so nice. So I don't really... Okay, look. It's the Hilo hemline. I hope that the front is long enough to cover my problem area. And next we have a pair of denim. And who are you? These are cut from the cloth. Oh my gosh, these are not a boyfriend jean. They are the Molina Distressed Frayed Hem Boyfriend Jean. Okay, so I know that I like cut from the cloth. I have a lot of it. And I'm going to give these a try, but I'm really not interested in these. I've been getting rid of all my cut from the cloth boyfriend jeans as I've been cleaning out my closet. So I don't really think I want to add this. I'm guessing these are $89. That's the standard price of cut from the cloth when you buy them from a subscription box. So I'm going to try them on. These are a nice denim. I just really don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of over it. I... Yeah, I'm just kind of over that. But we'll try them on and see if they're fabulous. Hold on for the try-on and my final thoughts. I've tried everything on. I'm looking at the invoice. It's higher than any invoice I've had in a long, long while. The total of all five pieces in this box is $414. The buy-all discount is $103. That sounds like a great discount, doesn't it? And that brings the total to $310. And I will tell you that my credits are noted on this invoice. The credits that I thought expired, they are not showing in the app. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go through each piece with you. I'm not keeping everything in this fix. $310 is a lot of money, right? Let's see. My new stylist, Lori, wrote a very thoughtful note. Uh, she, it appears from her note that she looked at my style profile, but some of the things in this fix are just a little bit off and I'll go through those with you when we get to those pieces, but the total of this fix is $414. But really, there's only one piece in here. It's $134. That's a little bit higher than what I normally received in that smaller price point. So $414, the buy all discount is $103, which brings the total of this box to $310. Now, those credits that I thought I lost, they're actually reflected on this invoice. They are not reflected on my online account. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's talk about each piece. I'll leave this out. The first piece that we can talk about are the shoes. 
the shoes, which which I told you from the very beginning are very similar to another pair of shoes that I already own. I will show you those other shoes. These ones are brand new, so I think they're going to look prettier. And there are some big differences between the two. First of all, the height of the heel. This one is about three and a half inches, I would say, but it's very comfortable. The heel height is fine. This is the Market and Spruce Felina Laser Cut peep toe booty I think is what they call it and I do like the detail and I think it's on the inside is it the inside no only one of them works the outside so they're really very very easy to get into and I appreciate that that's you know quick dressing these are $80 and they're super uncomfortable the part that's uncomfortable is right here I don't know if you could see in the try-on, my toes were actually screaming. I could not wait to get these off. They, in the short time I wore these during the try-on, they made marks on my toes. And if these are real leather, which I don't think they are because they're not stamped real leather, they're stamped made in China. If they were real leather, then I could actually break them in and they might be worth keeping but they're not, and they're really uncomfortable, and for $80, I'm not interested in anything that's gonna tear my feet up, and unfortunately, these cuties would. Okay, here's the sandals that I already own. So you can see they're similar. Now, these do have a double buckle uh, strap there, but they're the peep toe. This is also a navy suede shoe. They have a much shorter heel height, which it really doesn't make any difference. Three and a half inches is fine by me. I know the three and a half inches elongates the leg. I like to wear a higher heel, but these are fine for, I got these on sale and they, they're real suede leather. So they do just get softer and better with time, but you can see they're similar, right? I mean, these are beautiful, but these are comfortable. So I'm going to stick with the Covingtons, the ones I already have. The first piece of clothing I tried on is this piece, this top, which I think it was called the Crystal, what is it called? The Crystal Short Sleeve Surplice Top by Collective Concepts. This one is $58. I don't like it. I mean, do you guys like it? I like the color. The color's pretty for fall. I don't want it, this color necessarily for springtime. I do like the sleeves on this one. I do not like this elastic waistband. I feel like it just accents my problem area, my tummy, and then it just looks like tummy and then hips. And I'm not real crazy about that big open surplice front either. So this one's $58. I'm not interested in keeping this one. It's pretty. If you like it, make sure you request it from your stylist. It's just not anything that I'm interested in adding to my wardrobe. My favorite piece, right in the middle, my favorite piece is the 41 Hawthorne top. This is called the Carol Tulip Sleeve Top. It's $54. This is the least expensive piece in the entire fix. That never happens. Normally, I like the most expensive piece, so I was surprised by that. Now, I did tell you that this was fully lined, and it is not. It is only lined in the front, but this has such a nice feel to it. It feels very luxurious and nicely made. It's a polyester top, but you know, the silky polyester, I love that. I also like the tulip sleeve. I think it's cute, but I think I'm very drawn to the colors. The black and white is so classic. This one can be worn year round with a blazer or a cardigan, but it can be a standalone piece through spring, summer, fall. I like this one. Do you guys like this one? I'm leaning towards keeping this one. The denim. Okay, the cut from the cloth denim. Um, so this is what they look like, guys. They're a very classic cut from the cloth boyfriend denim jean. They're called the Emelina. Um, I'm used to the Catherine cut boyfriend, but these feel very similar. They're a wider cut and they're distressed and they actually called them distressed in the description, the stitch fix dis description, but that's all the distressing there is. So I wouldn't necessarily, I mean, I guess they are slightly distressed. Now those, my stylist wanted me to check out this hemline and um, so they sent them to me and they were cuffed like this, I didn't notice it. So this is a little bit more interesting, but uh, not enough for me to keep these. I. 
I have a lot of the Catherine boyfriend cut denim that I am I'm actually purging from my closet right now. Also, these are a mid-rise denim and when I was tweaking my style profile, I did put a note in there saying that I wanted all high-rise denim. So I'm a little disappointed that I got a mid-rise denim and also a denim like this because I was purchasing these two and three years ago. I'm really not interested. I'm, I don't know. I, I just, it was fun to try, but I, I don't want any more like this. The final piece that I tried is the white, sorry, sorry if this washes out, the lights are washing it out, but this is the Bella Doll El Camino button down top. It is a high-low and it is a really nice fabric. It's the tensile Lyocell fabric, which is nice. Now, the thing that's kind of shocking about this one is it's $134. And I, okay, I will spend $134 on a nice blouse. You guys know it. If you've been watching me for any length of time, if I fall in love with a piece, I will definitely buy it. But I'm not sure where they get that price tag from. And I know this is not probably a stitch fix price tag. If I was to Google this, it's probably the going rate for this designer right now. I'm not that crazy about the sleeve detail and my new stylist thought that I would be. I'm sure that she notices that I love sleeve detail, but a cuff like this it doesn't have a tab and I appreciate that, but that just doesn't seem cool enough or special enough to keep. This is a nice top, but Truthfully, I don't know if I would keep it if it was $28. And the reason being, I have classic white button front shirts, none with this long tail in the back, and I don't know that I'm really that crazy about that longer length in the back. What do you think about this one? What do you think about this entire fix? I am so curious to hear your thoughts on this one. I am going to leave my stylist specific feedback and let her know what I am looking for because I do think Stitch Fix has an algorithm and in that algorithm it shows Kelly has bought a dozen cut from the cloth denim, send her some more, she's likely to buy them and I probably am not going to buy them. So I need to let her know that I am looking for contemporary, trendy, eclectic, unique pieces. Is the 41 Hawthorne top? All of those things you guys let me know or am I just going right back into my rut? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you very shortly in the next video. Blessings to all of you.